The exam for version 1.4 is made up of 61 multiple choice questions, short answers. I won't say that the questions are not tricky because some of them are, and some have more than one correct answer, and some of the wrong answers can make you wonder. I'm not telling you this to try to discourage you, I just want to warn you. If you know the meanings of the terms and understand the concepts of the structure of the language of Java, you should go right through the exam. You need to get 32 of them right, that's 52% to pass. You will have two hours to take the test, that's two minutes per question. If you have studied, that's plenty of time. You should be able to just tick off a lot of them, leaving you a nice block of time to figure out the ones that are formed like a puzzle. I mean, some of them will have code snippets as the answers, and you'll have to figure out which ones are right. The exam for version 5.0 of Java is made up of 66 questions. A larger portion of this test is in writing code. It's expected to take about five hours total to take the exam. The exam expects you to know all the new features of Java that were added with version 5.0. All those new features are described in the examples in this course. The only prerequisite for taking either exam is that you know Java. You should have at least six months experience in Java programming. You can find out all about the latest exams at the Sun website. You need to use the information you find here for two things. First, you need to review the objectives of the exam. The objectives contain a list of all the things that you will need to know. Second, you can locate a place near you to take the exam, and you can book the exam. There are many places that offer the exam, but you have to pay for it and schedule it ahead of time. One of the things that's not covered on the exams is graphics. There's not one question about displaying a window or constructing a GUI interface. It's mostly the fundamental structure of the language, from class extending to interface implementing to the data types, overriding, overloading, and such things as that. There's also need to know about some of the special classes, such as strings and collections. You will be requested to write code as well as to answer questions about code already written. The only way that you'll be able to do that is to have some experience in writing code. You need to be able to write code using everything in this course. The first few lessons are an overview, but it shortly settles down to specifics. You need to be able to write and understand the code for every bit of it. Practice. As you go through this course, write example programs using whatever is being described. You need to know how to use this stuff inside a program. The exams are identified by numbers. Here are the numbers for the exams covered in this course. This is the exam for version 1.4 of Java. This is the same exam but it's for those who already have a version 1.2 certification. It's almost the same as the previous exam, but it's a little shorter. This is the latest exam. At the time these movies were recorded, there was no upgrade exam from 1.4 to 5.0, but I'm sure that's coming. This course provides all the information for all of these exams.